All right, John here. Just wanted to shoot a quick video. <clears throat> Something that I stumbled upon on the interwebs. It's kind of big and scary looking, but it's a heat gun. And I looked for dental specific videos, but I couldn't really find much, uh, except to say uh, that it's used for heating up uh, plastic suck down thermoplastic trays. But I thought I'd give it a whirl and see how it worked for other materials as well. Here's one example. Um, this is for festooning dentures. And we've got a denture that's pretty well shaped, but I want to festoon and get it all nice and shiny in here in the anterior region. And so what I'm going to do is this specific model has two heat uh, outputs. One, and it says right here, 350 degrees is one and 550 is two. But I'll just turn it on one. It takes about five seconds to heat up. And then we just kind of see if I can bring it close to the camera here. It's a little bit more control. So it heats it up nice and well, and then you can go straight to the um, cold paper towel in order to buff it out, smooth it up. So that's one way to do it at home if you don't have a Bunsen burner or if you're like me and you just want to do things the easy way. Pretty easy way to festoon your dentures really nicely. Let's see, I'll probably go in there, shape a little bit more, and then do it again. Um, let's see, the only thing I see here is, you know, that it melted onto the tooth a little bit, but that's okay. You go back and you shape that up um, with your wax spatula here, the number seven. And so, yeah, that's a, a neat trick. I also, when I was in the freshman lab the other day, we were stabilizing our 212 retainers with green stick compound, and I don't have any green stick compound to show, uh, but the heat gun worked really nicely for uh, green stick, and I think that this flat end here is kind of made so that you can set the heat gun like this and turn it on, and you can just hold your... I can show it. You can just hold your green stick above it right here, about right here. And that would be a neat way to get your green stick to heat up um, without using a Bunsen burner. So anyway, hope you like this video. There will be more to follow.